I just finished filming a video about the pros and cons of living alone, and I thought, you know, maybe I'll film a little update about Stitch, <laughs> my kitten. I've been uploading videos of him on YouTube. He's sitting on my lap right now. Um, anyways, so how old is he right now? He was born August 29th. Today is December, like, 15th? <laughs> what is it? December 15th. Oh, God. He's less than four months. August, September, October, November, December. God. I'm so bad with math. Okay, he's less than four months old. Sorry, Stitchies. Takes me a while to figure out birthdays and all that. Anyways, um, he's doing well. I'm learning so much about his personality, um, which has really, you know, developed since he first moved in with me at the beginning of November. Um, oh, God. Man, he, he's nutty. He, he's chewing on this pen right now. He's just, like, getting a mouthful of pen. Well, you love to chew on things, don't you? Um, okay, so what he really likes, he likes water. He loves water. It's so weird to me because, you know, I keep thinking back to my mittens, who I had for 20 years, and she hated water. Mittens didn't like water. She was like, stay away from me with water. Anyways, he adores it. Um, he'll jump up on the bathroom counter while I'm, like, brushing my teeth or washing my face. And then he'll start licking the inside of the sink. So I always need to keep the sink very clean and wash away any toothpaste as soon as possible because I don't want him to lick it. It makes it hard when I'm cleaning the bathroom, you know, because I have, like, this dirty cloth that I'm using to clean surfaces. And he's like, let me get in on that and clean the, <laughs> lick the um, bathroom sink. Um, and I'm telling him, no, stay away. <laughs> There's chemicals and stuff in the sink. Anyways. He also likes to lick the inside of the bathtub after I get out. So I take a shower in the morning. Um, as soon as I op slide open the shower doors, he's there. and <laughs> He'll run up and he'll put his paws up over the shower doors. And then he'll peek his head in and start licking the inside. Um, I don't know. I feel like that's kind of gross. Like Once I've turned the shower off, you know, and there's no water running, I feel like it's a dirty place and I want to get away as soon as possible. <laughs> so I don't really like when he licks the inside of the shower. You know, I mean, I clean the shower every week, but, you know. So he loves water. Um, he loves pretty much attacking most things, any moving thing, my legs, my arms. <laughs> um, he really likes to play with hair bands. I have one around my wrist right now. I can't really leave these lying around because then he'll steal them and start playing with them and then fling them underneath the fridge or the stove. Um, so I'm pretty confident that there's a number of them underneath there right now. I haven't done my daily sweep <laughs> underneath the surfaces to get out all the hair ties and whatever else he threw underneath there. Um, yeah, so he loves to play with hair ties, hair clips, socks. Socks, he will steal your socks. If he, Like last night I had two, two socks, you know, a pair of socks on the floor next to my couch and then he moved one underneath the bed. <laughs> So he likes to play with his socks. Um, yeah, he's just very playful and sweet. He's super attached to me. I think it's because he's so young and he doesn't have another kitty friend to play with. I'm like his mama, and he thinks he needs to be with me all the time. So he's just my little shadow. You know, when I go in the kitchen, of course he follows me there because that's where his cat food's at. Um, you know, he always sticks his head in the fridge, so I'm very careful about closing the fridge now and, like, scooting him away. Um, when I go back and, like, you know, put on makeup and stuff, he'll jump up on the kitchen, the, excuse me, the bathroom counter, and he'll sit there and watch me <laughs> or, like, find stuff to play with. You know, hair ties. He will find a hair tie and start playing with it when I'm in the bathroom, um, which, you know, my, my toilet is separate from the sink. Um, he'll come and sit down next to the toilet. Sometimes he'll jump up on my lap while I'm using the bathroom, or he'll crawl up my back, which really hurts. He sinks his nails in, crawls up my back, and then he'll perch on my shoulder. Um, <laughs> he's, he's just attached to me, you know, and um, it can be a little bit annoying when I'm in the bathroom, so sometimes I'll close the door just because I don't want him scratching his way up my back, you know, it hurts. Um, yeah, so he follows me around. He loves to snuggle. Um, if I sit down, he's like, all right, and he'll come over and sit on my lap. And um, he just loves to be with me, and I love to be with him. So he's got a good personality. You know, he's very curious. He loves food. Oh, my God, I didn't mention that. He loves food. 
completely. It's his favorite thing. If you give him food, he starts purring right away, and he purrs for a while afterwards. He's just so happy when he's eating. <laughs> Wet food is his favorite, but he also has dry food. Ow, he's biting me. Um, yeah, he loves food. There's, when I eat, he jumps up on the table, which is problematic. He jumps up on the table, and he tries to attack my food. He did get some scrambled eggs one day because I wasn't quick enough. He got a little mouthful of those. So it's hard to eat food, actually, because um, he'll jump up on my lap or he'll jump up on the back of the table and then crawl up my back again, you know, sinking the nails in and then sit on my shoulder and then jump onto the table. So I'm not really sure how to handle that. Um, you know, he's, like, obsessed with food. Um, it, it just makes him very happy <laughs> to eat his own food. So, yeah, um, I've had issues with his collar, actually. I bought him a kitten collar with a safety latch. He got out of it twice. I bought him this little Velcro one yesterday um, where you snip off the excess, but it doesn't have a safety feature, which makes me really nervous that he could get caught on something and then, like, choke. Um, so I took it off last night because I was nervous about it. Um, and then today, oops, I bought some more toys for him. He does not need more toys. He's um, so this is the latest collar I got him. It's by a different, different company as the first kitten collar, and the latch looks a little bit better. So I'm just going to test out different collars for him and see maybe if I can find one with a better latch. Um, I think this one might be too big. It says 8 inches to 12 inches. I don't know how wide his neck is, but I don't think it's 8 inches. That's kind of big. Anyways, I'm just trying different collars with him because he's a little escape artist and gets out of all of his collars. So, um, yeah, it'll be fun. We have our first Christmas together coming up. I got him a Santa hat, but I don't want to put it on him because I think he won't like it. No bites. Let me put you down. Okay, let me put you down. Anyways, everything's going really well with him, and I love him. <laughs> I wish he could have met my man, so tell him about her sometimes. You know, because I miss her a lot and I want them to... I want him to know about her. <laughs> Alright, so anyways, that's all. Um, everything's going very well with Stitch. If you are interested in hearing an update, I can do another update in like a month or so when he's grown and he'll be almost five months then. <laughs> Hopefully I'll have found a collar that um, he likes. Alright, thanks for watching.